you take it out. If something breaks, you fix it. If nothing breaks, just keep, keep running going. it. Just keep going. It's uh, it's way more fun to drive these things than to work on them. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, today is a special one. We're with Roy. Hi. And Miss Munoz. There she is. And the legendary Vince Munoz, MCC. The old ranger. Badass ranger, dude. This thing is is been through the ringer, uh, right? It's been, it's, when did Vince get this truck? Yeah, he's had this thing since 2008. Wow. This is actually uh, it was Ben Wright's old or it was Ben Wright's brother's old uh, 1450 truck. Okay. There's pictures right, of right, it. Right, right, Fab from uh, yeah, like yeah, Orange County. From Orange County. Yeah. Oh, okay. I remember those yeah. guys. Yeah. And he raced it a couple times. There's a there's a picture of this thing um, going completely inverted upside down over the wall out in Lucerne. Oh shoot, and, and that was the, when the right guys had it? No, 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 that was when Vince first bought it. Ah, okay. Um, so it got crashed you know, decently hard and they ended up redoing the back half on the cage. Um, it had a giant motorsports front end on it. And, you know, he raced it like that for, I don't know, probably another five or six years. Oh shoot, okay, with that giant kit and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So that was right around the time, what was that, like 2000. 12, 13, something like that is when I started working on it. I don't think there's there's not very many other 1450 trucks with as many miles Race as miles, this yeah. thing has because uh -huh. since 2008, to like 2008 18? to like 2012. 19? Yeah, because I remember going down to San Felipe, Vince did San Felipe in this truck, and that was 2013 or so. And uh, since then, uh, it was raced full time, like every race of every score season. If the truck came back running, uh, we would come up and hit Laughlin or the night race or, you know, just one of the fun races up here. Yeah. Um, but the other thing's got some. Yeah, they're just on. always in Mexico. Oh, and then, and then even if it's not racing, uh, they literally, they just Me got back. What was that? In like Mexico, like yeah. the, even the. Just the, the environment, track, yeah. The environment, you know, it's just fun. Yeah. For sure. Um, For sure. So yeah, it was just like whenever this truck was running, it was going racing. And if not, like they literally just got back from Glamis this weekend. Uh, we got back from Laughlin. Heck yeah. What was that, three weeks ago? Okay. And he cleaned the truck off and went uh, straight to Glamis. As the motor that's in the truck right now has been in there since the Baja 1000 of 2019. What? Um, so I don't know what Robert did to this one, um, but it's a Maruzzi racing engines and it's just been- Is it been, the Maruzzi special? It's a super special. Super duper special. Um, well, this is the right. 425 LS3. Okay. Um, which is slightly different than his like Maruzzi special okay. uh, package motor. Yeah, because I know that's the one that Nick used to run, right? Yeah, it's, it's a pretty common Nick Eisenhower. One. Yeah. This is like, this is more of a race motor. So it's definitely a little higher strung, which is even more miraculous that it's lived so long. Um, right. This thing's got, it's it's 10,000 miles on this thing, no problem. That's wild. I think let's hop in, let's hop into the truck, man. Let's check it out. Tell okay. us, tell us what you've done since it kind of uh, um, has come under your okay, wing, okay. right? Basically, I mean, it's it's like a lot of these other trucks, they're, 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 like, they're never done, you know? Like there's Ever. always, there's always something you gotta like cut off and fix or change or, they're never done. Oh, yeah. Well, it had the original engine cage on it. It had giant motorsports beams. Um, that was still like ball joint with Dana 35 stuff. So when Vince wanted to upgrade, um, he actually, this was the first set of these Uniball uh, Heim beams that I built in 2013 or 14. Oh, okay. So these, these are from 13. Well, no, these ones aren't because Vince has definitely wrecked. Ah, set of okay. These. I mean, this was the OG truck that had this style front end, the Uniball and, um, that's wild, beams, dude. Which many people run now. Yeah. Is there anything you want to point out on it? I mean, you could take this point out. Uh, I mean, it's all, it's really basic stuff, you know? Up in there we have, that's just a standard, like 12 to one, uh, stand reverse rotation steering gear from Power Steering Solutions. Okay. Charlie's definitely the man and he takes very good care of us. Right on. Oh, we have all his steering stuff on there. I mean, it's really all simple stuff, really. You know, just like a standard, just standard uh, crossover steering on this thing here. It's really nothing fancy, you know? Like this truck is, it's super, super simple. Um, it's just, it's one of those things that's like, when you put a bunch of parts together, you gotta make sure everything works well together. You know what right. I'm saying? Uh, 
I mean, I see that a lot with 1450 trucks is, you know, they got the big shocks, they got a big motor, they got the hubs and stuff, but the truck's still not super fast because like it, it's just, it, everything's just got to work together, right, you know? Right. Uh, I think that's probably one of the best things about this truck is it's got so many miles on it. This thing is just like, it's just you've worked dial. through all the, it yeah, you've worked dial. through all the bugs, any bugs or yeah. any things that you guys could have come across. Exactly. I mean, I'm sure in all the years of R and D with beams and stuff that you guys have done yeah. was like, okay, this can't, this is the idea for yeah. this power, for this weight. Mm -hmm. That's wild, dude. Yeah. That's so cool, man. And you know, you know what's really great is, you know, R Roy uh, has done such a great job engineering these beams that, like, it's inspired a lot of other, other people to start beaming their trucks, right? Trucks that shouldn't be beamed. Um, and oh, we put beams on everything. Obviously, uh, trophy truck A-arms are going to work better, right? Of course. But for any truck with a frame that was a factory truck at one point, it's so much easier. Not only does it give you the travel numbers, the strength, it's but it's, it's but it's, it's budget. A simple, it's a it's, simple setup. It's it's you a know? it's a weird budget. Obviously not budget, but it's a budget in a oh, sense in the long run. This is much more budget than center mount trophy truck. Hell yeah, for sure. So tell us about the front. So what what's the shock package and um, how do you go about that? Shock package on this thing. Uh, I mean, it's it's probably a little bit over what most 1450 <laughs> trucks. Well, I mean, I guess really not not that much anymore. Okay. Because this is a lot um, of guys are stepping it up. Yeah, a lot of guys are running the bigger shocks, and you know it's the same thing though. Like when you overbuild right yeah it's just the less you got to work on it okay? right right um, buy once cry once so that's the it's just a 3.0 coil over 4.0 bypass um, two and a half bump stop this is all just like standard off the shelf these are off the shelf tube layout on the 4.0s up here oh okay cool so no custom no, configuration no, no. Thing, well you got thing, all the space you know oh this thing's got tons of room so there's yeah. no need for you know weird tube layouts or anything so this is all off the shelf stuff super you know just just easy and then did you rebuild these guys and stuff? You pull them apart and do your do your well, dance I with them? Well, I rebuilt them in 2019. <laughs> no way. I hate you, Roy. <laughs> we put seals in the rear coilovers. Um, okay. Well, this thing this thing has a lot of pre-run miles on it, yeah. you know, so. So this is now the, the pre-run. Pre so the, the, pre like, the race prep is like, it comes to the shop, everything gets torn apart, everything gets inspected, everything gets put back together all fresh, okay? okay. The pre-runner prep is you take it out, if something breaks, you fix it. If nothing breaks, just you keep, keep running it. Just keep going. In, okay. in, in true 1400, 1450 fashion. So uh, what else, what's up with the front end? So you got the BMS hubs, right? Yeah, the BMS Bl hubs. Blitzkrieg Motorsports um, guys. It's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, so one year after, what was that, the 500? We uh, raced the truck in Mexico. Vince kind of put it off of the edge of the fire road coming into Santa Tomas. The brakes before were always, they were marginal at best, you know? It just had like, it was just like the old school brakes, the Willwoods with the small rotors, and you know, it wasn't great. After that crash, uh, Vince's dad was like, hey, do you think uh, better brakes would help on the truck? And you know, obviously I was like, you know, of course they'll yes. help. <laughs> yeah. um, so we went to JMAR and we put all the JMAR six piston trophy truck brakes on it, which hey, yo. phenomenal. Yay! Those are great. That's what I have. I know that. Oh, well, the Jmar is. Um, <laughs> Jmar is awesome. Well, hey, Vince. Hey, how's it going? Sorry to just swarm you. <laughs> no, you're good. Stuff. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Just coming home from th work. Th thanks for letting us uh, check out the truck. Ro Ro Roy's filling us in on some stories. Well, so, I so mean, that's pretty much the front right there, right? And then, yeah. so, so what are your beams? People always ask, what are your beams pulling in the front, man? Uh, this truck cycles 21 right now. Okay. Um, with a with a 14, 16 shock package, it'll do 23. Okay. But I mean, we have it limited down. Just okay. like it, it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't really need. It doesn't that. need it. Yeah. Uh, because the back of this truck, same thing. The same thing with the back of this truck. When they originally did the back half, that was it was a long time ago, right? Okay. So it wasn't built for a huge amount of up travel. Okay. We actually, so this tube here used to just continue all the way straight to there. Oh. So we cut all that out. Okay. I raised the bump stops up so it actually has some up travel. Got it. And we built these links, which that's another. Uh, I guess that's another cool point there. So these links. Oh, these aren't like the canoe links. No, no, no. These have these clevis style rod ends in here okay right because if you look at it from just like an engineering standpoint okay you have this this is basically a beam right and when you load something in the middle like that and bending that's called a beaming load right so when you're when you're putting some sort of beaming load on uh, a member like that the worst thing you can do is take a giant scoop of material out of the very middle of it where the stress is being applied mm. right so just like from a design standpoint uh, when King came out with these Clevis style rod ends, I loved them immediately. So we put them on this truck because we were doing all this stuff with the back half kind of like right around at the same time when they came out with these 
uh, rod ends, right? I don't know what worked with the geometry, but okay. So you see here, there's a bolt here. Okay. So normally you would have like a big canoe style yeah. link. Okay. Yeah, Your standard. rod end would have the bearing in the rod end and it goes inside the link and then the bolt goes through the link, through the rod end, out the other side of the link to secure it. Okay. okay? These ones, this clevis, just has machine steel spacers in here and the uniball cup is actually welded into the trailing arm itself. We built these links in 2016. Those are the same bearings. No way. The same, these are the same bearings that we built this with. That's because crazy. every time I pull this stuff apart, I check them, they're perfect, we put them back in. Dang. Pull it apart, check them, they're perfect, put them back in. That's um, wild, dude. And, and I mean, and, and you guys are, you're prepping it. You're going through it. Hey, are these good still? And no, dang. every time, every time we take this truck apart, I look at those bearings and they're perfect. Dude, it's like six years, man. So I don't understand how they work out so nice, but that's, that's one, that's a kind of a different thing about this truck is it's got these clevis style rod ends with these, you know, yeah. the other cool thing about yeah, this links, isn't really common. We don't really see this, you know, even on other race trucks and, okay, you and know even other, some different pre runners, but okay. Really cool. The other cool thing about these links is from the time I drew these, cut them out on my plasma table, prepped all the plates, put them all together and welded them, right? I had eight hours in no making way. these trailing arms. Wow. Okay. We put together some parts for the original uh, Missoula 6100, 30 to 40 hours into welding those links. Wow. Which most, like, most of the intricate link designs, uh, especially like the pocketed ones, there's a lot of internal structure and stuff to keep the strength. And it makes it so that they're really, really complicated to put together, to fixture, to weld. Like there's just, there's a ton of welding that goes into them. Yeah. And I mean, we always tried, I, I, I love simplicity. simplicity yeah. Right? And Same then thing. so, so, so the whole layout in the back, this was already here. You guys just well, notched this from so more up travel. It's one of those, it was one of those, <clears throat> Things because I've built trucks for people where it's like, okay, cool, we're gonna cut this off and cut this off and cut this off, and then all of a sudden you're like, dude, you're, you're hey, deep. Cool. I'm left with like seat mounts in the cab, yeah. right? So it was kind of one of those things where I was like, we're just gonna modify what's here and you know, just kind of keep the truck simple and not redo the entire thing. Say it louder for the people in the back. <laughs> keep Let's your play truck that. Running. Let's keep play that running. one more time in slow motion. Keep the truck. Simple. Keep it running. So you guys could understand. It's uh, it's way more fun to drive these things than to work on them. Boom. Okay, just going back to that's. It's only got a 50 gallon fuel cell. Okay. Right, so no huge fuel cell. I mean, it's it's really, if you look at this thing, it's a really just super simple, basic truck. It's just more, you know? it's just more driving time for Miss Munoz in the chase yeah. truck, right? <laughs> so are you okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, well, I they, have, I have fun. I, uh, Mexico is like my, you know. That's the best. That's my. That's my jam over there. Right on. <laughs> right on. But see, yeah, see, we're good. So the 50 gallon, the 50 gallon could work. Cool, man. The 50, yeah, the 50 gallon will work, but it's one of those things. It's the same, same thing, you know, like we could totally, we could totally cut this thing up and. But why? Rebuild the entire truck, but the thing yeah. works. It just works really good. Hell yeah. So what, what rear end are you running in this thing? Um, so, <laughs> hey, look at it's Bessel's right here. Vessel right there, dude. Um, okay, so this is a BMS housing. Um, oh, another, uh, yeah, Blitz Creek. Yeah, so it's a whole housing from, from Blitz, and this has been a phenomenal housing also. This thing's got some serious, serious miles on it. Uh, how, how long, Vince? 2011 or 2012 is my first Wow. Yeah. And, and look at what you've put it through. I think Mexi Mike was when, when he was working there, I think, right? So no way. Yeah, this was, was a Mexi long. housing, yeah. Yeah. Um, do this housing has been through some serious stuff and uh, I posted a video. On this is the 11th year. Oh yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. Uh, I posted a video a while ago. We were putting this thing together and the axles still go in like that. No way. Yeah. yeah. Dang, you guys see like the invest strain, investing. Though. This is only, it's a three and a half inch MIG welded housing too. Wow, very yeah. cool man. And you did the gears for this? Uh, yeah, this is running a, it's a Gearworks third member with a 543 in this one. Right on, man. Uh, ah. what else do people want to know about this thing? Shock this package here, in the rear. This, those are actually, um, those are pistol peat shocks off of a Baja Light XR. Hell yeah, man. RIP pistol peat, man. Oh, you got the, that's the, that's the you pistol know? sticker on there. There it is, guys, right there. Yeah, pistol peat was the man. Pretty similar shock package, 3.0 coilover, 4.5 bypass in the back of this thing. Okay. Same thing. I freaking boys. love those bolt-on bump stops from King. Yeah, they, those are, yeah, that's the thing, huh? Just the mounting of them, 
no cans to warp, you know, nothing to get rusted in there. It's literally are all are all new bump stops pretty much like that, or is that an upgrade? No, this is definitely an upgrade. Okay, um, so they're, they're they're on the spendy side. Yeah, but, you know, it's but one when of those you've things. dealt with the cans that warp and get all weird, that these are so much. It's just so much easier. The chassis layout can be so much cleaner because it's you know literally it's a flat mounting pad for that uh, bottom cradle there, and then it's just tabs that come off the top. Yeah, so it just. The, the whole, like, I guess the whole mantra for this truck was always just keep this thing simple. It's so much easier just to keep it simple. Right on. That would be my advice to anybody. Yeah, yeah. You Makes know? sense, dude. Makes sense. So you guys got the radiator back here. Is this so, the Baja Designs? Uh... Yeah, that's the Baja Designs RTL bar. That is another great unit. Yes, sir. Um, because that completely simplifies all of your taillight wiring. Yeah. It's got a built-in work light. It's got turn signals. Like that's, Excellent. That's, that's such a great piece. Storage? Yeah, that's just a storage box for all the tools, supplies. Storage box, um, big old PCI. That's for, uh, that's our MSAT antenna. That's for pre-running Mexico. Okay, um, it's, necessary, it's a, right? It's so nice having the MSAT now because, yes. I mean, down in Mexico, there's a lot of spots where you're 50 miles out through the mountains. <clears throat> there's no radio communication. Nothing. Your cell phone doesn't work. There's nothing but the MSAT. That thing's, that's a good unit right there. There it is. I mean, we actually spent a lot of time kind of laying stuff out in the engine bay so that everything is like everything like there's tons of room to work on this thing nothing's like nothing's difficult to work on on this truck um like everything comes apart super easy we could do uh we could we could change uh we changed out the the front timing components in the truck so we can pull the oil pan out without moving anything we pull the front cover off it's it's just this has been convenient super easy that's what i love it when things are super easy to work on yeah you know? especially you know when um, like you guys everything's are... wide open you know like look at the oil filter is right here right. easy to change the oil filter easy to check everything it's just it's just everything is is yeah to give simple. everybody a good clear you know? clear eye of this thing you guys can check it out and then you obviously built these guys oh i built those headers a long time ago nice those are very very old and this is this is the uh this is the legendary maruzi motor he was talking about uh, for... yeah this is this is the maruzi 425 ls3 i don't know how this motor has run for so long um it has got an insane amount of miles on it yeah that, that's what he was saying vince Mexico you guys 87 pemex oh this thing eats, wow eats pemex whatever does not care cool you guys want to go through the inside all business uh yeah i mean there's really nothing special on this thing well it, it's ni nice and clean in here man you know uh um, is this the wright brothers old cage still most of it yeah, yeah. nice man there's nice. been some stuff uh like yeah. i kind of reworked these b pillars to fit these head restraint seats i really like to run especially in a race uh application i really love the head restraint seats I know a lot of people don't like them for off-road, but... For visibility or...? <clears throat> well, for visibility, dependent if your truck handles well or not. Okay. Because if you're bouncing around kind of side to side, your head kind of bobbles in between the bolsters. Okay. But I always liked them. And so we put these head restraint seats in just about everything. Hell yeah, makes um, sense. You know, I mean, you guys have had some wild crashes, I'm sure. It's just, yeah, I'm sure yeah. the, the, those things yeah. have saved, saved your neck. Oh, oh 100%. Absolutely. Absolutely, many yeah. times. Other than that, I mean, this thing's pretty simple. It's uh, it's running a Holly EFI Terminator ECU. Right there, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we got the, the larger screen there. Right on. Pretty standard GPS and stuff. Well, that is one thing, these Switch Pros units. I definitely love those. We put those in just about everything also. Easy, right? They're so easy. They are so easy and just, they're just, they're bulletproof. They're okay. foolproof. They're they're just they're easy so peasy. clean and easy to wire, and they yeah. just they work phenomenally. Man, I gotta say, for a race truck, there's a lot of space in here, man. But I, I think we gotta thank the, <sighs> the the beams, right? I mean, that's what kept yeah, the space. yeah. Well, I mean, if you notice, this truck also has a mostly stock firewall. Okay. Which I mean, it was one of those things. I mean, that was. It would be definitely very nice to do a firewall on this thing. Nice. Because you can see Vince is much shorter than I am. Right. So the truck was definitely built for Vince. I mean, it's really not that uncomfortable. Like yeah, after no, a while, it looks, it looks, it looks really comfortable, man. Is that an MPI steering wheel? Uh, yeah, what is that? yeah, that's MPI wheel. Right on. Um, well, I mean, damn, dude. The one year at the Shoot. thousand. The one year at the thousand. I was in this thing for 26 hours, and holy, crap. I mean, it's you know, it's not bad. Hopefully, we'll be seeing these boys a lot more. Vince, thank you so much for for inviting us over. Yeah, sure. It's so cool to see Vince's family so heavily involved in it. Having a wife and kids that support your passion is huge. 
yeah, right? It's, huge. it's it's massive, and I know that 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 goes a long way with for me too. It's so dang hard, man. So if you guys want to see us go film this thing, comment below. Let's get some uh, fire lit under these boys' butts. We'll uh, we'll get some good footage of this thing. Where where where, where do you guys want to see it? Barstow, Lucerne, Plaster. Tell us. You guys let us know. Well, thank you guys again. If you guys like what we're doing, subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff. It helps our content grow. Um, and just know, it took years to make this thing what it is. You guys aren't going to get things done overnight. And you guys don't have to have the biggest, craziest stuff for it to work. You know what I mean? You guys can make it happen. So budget, prep, and, uh, and stay in it for the long run. Later, guys. Take care. Bye.